Committee on the Rights of the Child did a general comment on Article 12, which, as we know, is an authoritative interpretation of it. But it's got, I think, really great elements like a child should be presumed to have the capacity to form his or her own view. And there's no age limit to that. And a child need not have comprehensive knowledge to be considered capable. I mean, to go a little bit further, um, I think it's well worth us as adults continuing to sort of interrogate what we mean by capacity. Um, I think we, you know, it's one of those words that um, we might use quite casually and fair enough, but it actually starts to become quite weighty um, in terms of the implications that it means. So, for example, I think we use capacity, but like, are we thinking starting to confuse it with legal capacity, which has different kinds of elements. Do we always consider that there's different kinds of decisions being made? And maybe we might view, if we did want to rely on capacity or children being capable differently. So I think often with family law, um, there has been a risk that it's treated as if you consider children's views, it's about them making the decision. And actually it's very clearly in law agree or disagree, that it's not about the children making a decision, it's about their views being given um, due weight in decision making. So I would say there is actually, why are we so concerned about our children being capable? Do you know? I mean, they have views, we need to give them weight, but I'm just really not sure why we would get caught up in ideas of capacity. I think another one is if we are going to put a lot of um, effort, uh, reliance on it, maybe use that word, then we should be pretty clear what we mean by it and be pretty grounded on, on like how we're judging it or evidencing or thinking about it. And it is often used casually without any um, sort of real definition behind it. It's often used as a threshold concept. So you either are capable or you're not, rather than arguably you could see it as a continuum. Bringing in that point again, how much is it contextual? I would suggest it should be considered that way. So, you know, it, it is about how one's supported and facilitated etc rather than you are or you're not um, and then a, a really important issue for us is what happens if children want to do participate in ways that aren't uh, comfortable or um, what we want in terms of adult terms what happens if children are expressing by being emotional or angry or not wanting to participate um, and that I think we need to figure out um, how we consider the, the contributions from that and my last comment before I look forward to your um, <laughs> is I, I felt really challenged and found it interesting to find that in the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, they have provisions that just assume people have legal capacity. It's a very different starting point than, than we have. Interestingly, you then get to the general common and the one group they exclude are children with disabilities, which I would disagree with. Um, but nonetheless, I think that kind of turning around, I think is really good for us. You know, what happens if we just actually went from children being capable? Where would we go in terms of that? 